uh, ladies and gentlemen, to this session on critical raw materials. But before I introduce the speakers and the subject, let me just mention one incredible experience which I had this morning. Uh, I used the time very early in the morning to go to a place 10 minutes from here, the Abrahamic family house. I was not familiar that this exists, but a friend of mine had told me about it. It's a church, a synagogue, and a mosque, all on one compound. And it is a strong sign of tolerance that the United Arab Emirates send with this wonderful architecture, which is not just a museum, but where people pray, people sing, people have masses, uh, services. Uh, it was deeply moving, and especially in these times, I can only encourage you to use the time to go there and see it, and one can only wish that this message that the Emiratis send with this uh, wonderful institution will be heard uh, in all major Abrahamitic uh, religions. Well, we have a very important subject, and that is critical raw materials. And last year, uh, after the Russian invasion in Ukraine, we woke up, and I say it as a German, also we, and especially we woke up, and immediately recognized how much dependent we were on, in this case, Russian gas. And at that time, at the last World Policy Conference, the 15th edition, we already had a panel on critical raw materials with a representative from the EU Commission. And we all stated, well, the dependency on critical raw materials, on some critical raw materials on China, for instance, are even higher than those dependencies that we had uh, with Russian gas. And we urged the Commission and urged the policymakers do something to diversify, do something to start mining uh, again in Europe, uh, look for other places. Uh, and the question that we ask today, and which is the lead question uh, here for the panel, is what has changed during last year? Was this, uh, well, this strong demand heard by policymakers uh, in Brussels and Washington? Uh, on the Gulf, elsewhere in the world, uh, not to rely on one or two countries alone, but to diversify. 